Australian Award Scholarships. Today we'll be talking about the scholarships. And we'll be looking at the participating countries, the opening and closing date. The scholarship opened February 1, 2023, and to be closing by May 1st. And now to apply some other things about the scholarships in general. And I have a sample of the research proposal. If you're doing your master's or PhD, although in most cases for this scholarship is for master's, there are some other continents whereby you can do PhD program, but in most cases for African countries, as a matter of fact, it's just master's program that you can do. But for a country like Cambodia, you can do both master's and PhD. So to start with, the benefit of the scholarships include food to show here, return air travel payments to and um, from Australia, establishment and allowance, contribution to living expenses, introductory academic programs, and all other benefits. Then moving on, the participating countries, they have a lot of participating countries, at least in Africa, they have more than 20 countries that are participating in the program, and also in other continents, too, they have countries that are participating in the program as well. But for Africa, we have like 20 countries that can participate in the programs. The group meets by continent. Asia, these are the countries that can participate in Pacific, Middle East, Africa, and some other specific countries along with each other. So in Africa, Algeria, Botswana, and the rest country can participate in Nigeria, Zimbabwe, Tunisia. Then the application deadline, the opening and closing date, like I said, the opening date is 1st of February 2023. So the scholarship is already open. You can start with the application process, and if you get the process of applying, you can submit. You don't necessarily have to wait long to submit, but I just recommend taking your time with this kind of scholarship to make sure you get all the details before you submit your application. So it gives you time to go through your application and make sure you do some correction, make some, add some additional details just to make sure you give the best in your application. So these are the countries in Africa that can apply. So mostly in Africa, they group all the requirements together, starting from the opening and closing dates, February 1st to May. The first of May 2023. So you still have like a few months before the ending of the scholarship, which means you still have a lot of time to submit your application. And then for the African countries, there is the application guidelines. The priority fees of study for African countries are climate change, agriculture and food security, mining and energy, foreign policy and international security. Other continents have some other priority programs, but for African countries, it's a priority program. And like I said, for African countries, the Australia Award Scholarship provides citizens of eligible African countries with the opportunity to obtain a master's degree at an Australian tertiary institution. You can only obtain your master's degree with this scholarship. So if you're looking forward to the master's, you can apply to the scholarship study in Australia. Then IETS or TOEFL requirements, the English language proficiency, the request for a 6.5 in IETS, and each of them shouldn't be less than 6. But IETS testing result is not a requirement for applicants if English language was English was the language of instruction for your undergraduate studies, or English was the language of instruction for your undergraduate studies, you don't need to provide IETS test code. So I think most people in Nigeria and some other English-speaking countries, Nigeria and Ghana, some other countries, might not need to provide IATS. Or if you study in Australia, if you complete five years of studies in one or the following countries, Australia, UK, US, Canada. But as long as English was used as the language of instruction for your undergraduate degree, you don't need to provide an English language proficiency test. So like I said, the opening date is this, and this is the closing date of the application. Then, how do you apply? How do you submit your application? So, to submit your application, this is the application guideline. You really need to download this and go through it 
one after the other, I read every single detail to get ready to submit your application. Every single thing is you just have to come here and start follow the process that you submit your application easily. You go to the page, they leave all the registration link there. Open your internet browser and navigate to this. Then yeah, you see login and register. If you register, you register. If you're a new user, you register. If you already have an account, you log in. So the most important thing here, which I would like to talk about in this document is the complete your application, which is number seven, chapter seven, and the program of study, the proposed study program. This is the most important part of this guide. And yeah, you are even asked to stop and please select your proposed study program carefully. And please consider the information below before you add cost of preference. So like I said, if you're from African countries, you can only apply for master courses. And then to do so, you need to come to this page because from here, from this guideline, it said, in addition, Australian award scholarships are available only for courses that are listed on this page. Commonwealth registered of institutions and courses for overseas students. So you can only choose course that are on this page. So when you open this page, this is the page. When you open this page, you can search your course. You can search by course or by institution. But I recommend you search by course because from what I have shown in this page, these are the feed that are eligible for it so you can come here search your own feed for example if i want to search agriculture cause name agriculture search now so you've already known that only masters you can only do master degree with the scholarship that means you look you're looking for a program that is master you're not doing for phd or certificate or bachelor so you look for masters in agriculture. Yeah, and so this is one university, Charles Tooth University. They have master course to make us work. Agriculture and environment is another one. University of Sydney, agriculture and food science is another one. They are all masters, masters, masters. So these are the ones that you can choose from, from to apply to the Australian Award Scholarship. So you need to come to this page, look for your course, make sure it's here. It has to be on this page. Is the course that are on this page that you can apply to. So you can just, okay, you can apply to this Master of Agriculture in Charles Tooth or University of Sydney. So after you've been able to select your program from this page, then you go to your application, you go back to your application, you choose your program of study. This is what you're going to see. If you want to add your a proposed study program, you add it there. Once you click the Add Outer window, will pop up showing this page to you. Then from this page, you're going to see the code and everything that you need here. For example, if I choose this Master of Agriculture, this is the course code. The C-R-I-C-O-S code, you copy this, you paste it here, you fill out the process, then you, you'll you be good to go. So here, if you're doing your Master's, definitely the program is for Master's, you need to have a research proposal. So for a research proposal in agriculture, I have a sample here which I've prepared. Here I choose a title to be Improving Yield and Sustainability of Cassava Farming in Nigeria. And then they want the title, that's the title, I've given them the title. So you're going to de develop your own research proposal to based on the feed of your own study. Objectives, 1000 characters, I just wrote three objectives. To assess growing cassava farming, to identify the factors related cassava yield, to develop and implement strategies to improve yield and sustainability. And related. so that's my objectives: a significant and possible application of your research to your country's development. So since the countries that I'm choosing is Nigeria, and I just wrote a few significance of cassava production and cassava vegetable food, you can do your research. You can even add some references to it or just make sure you have your significance of your studies. And then the third one is proposed research methodology. 
purpose was to slash metal and was the method I again to use to carry it out. Here I chose two phases. The research should be conducted in two phases. The first phase consists of comprehensive literature reviews and all that. So you get it just I will leave the link to these samples for you to go through to write your own research proposal based on this scholarship. Then the last one does your proposed research include fieldwork? Yeah, I said yes. The proposed research includes fieldwork as a critical component of the research methodology. So this is just a basic sample of research proposal developed for this scholarship. There are a lot of ways whereby you can use to develop your research proposals and a lot of institutions, mostly in Australia, a lot of institutions in Australia, universities in Australia have their own guidelines for research proposals. So you have to, if you have to develop a research proposal, you want to study in Australia, in Australia University, and you have to develop a research proposal, you go to the university page, you are likely to find a guideline for you to develop your own research proposal based on the university requirements. But for these scholarship requirements, these are the things that you need. You develop your proposal based on their own guidelines that has been given to you. Tied to objectives, just 1,000 characters, 1,000 characters, 1,000 characters, then you are done. So all of that process, to me, they are just normal things that you can feel, your qualification, your work experience that you can feel. So I intentionally put this there. The proposal there because it might serve as a guide for you when you're writing your own proposal too. So like I said, the application is open. You can search your application now. It's a fully funded scholarship and it even entails flight tickets to and from Australia. And once you identify your country to be among the list of the participating countries, then you can search your application. It's a close by May 4th, 2023. And then you have to call me to check the parents' feed on your study. Make sure you choose a course in line with this feed. One, two, three, four. This fourth feed, you choose a course that is related to this. And when you're choosing your course, you have to come to the website here to select a course which is on this page. It is important to choose a course that is on this page. Then lastly, you develop your own research proposal. When you are done, you can go ahead and submit your application. I will be able to get a few in applying to this scholarship. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.